Here's how to drastically improve your ping in Fortnite. Step one, have a wired connection over a wireless connection, such as an Ethernet cable, as it'll not only provide lower ping slash latency, but it'll also offer more stability for your connection. A cheap Cat 5A or Cat 6 cable will do the job for gaming easily. There's no need to overpay and get an overkill Cat 7 or Cat 6 cable. Oh, as well, if you are unable to use a Ethernet cable, which I appreciate some people are, and you are only able to use a Wi-Fi slash wireless connection, there's a solution for you. You can use a power line adapter. This device right here can actually extend your network connection using your home's existing electrical wiring. All you have to do is plug one of the two adapters into your router and then the other adapter into your gaming device via an Ethernet cable. Step two, update your network drivers to improve overall performance of your network connection. You can do this by finding your device manager, then under the network adapters, just simply find your Ethernet connection. Uh, in here, just look for the brand. You can see here that mine is Intel. It should be very clear. After that, you want to open up your browser and search up the brand of your Ethernet driver. You'll then see the top one should be the correct link. You can see it's obviously Intel for myself, which is fantastic. You then want to make sure you are using the latest version as we do want the most up-to-date Ethernet driver. And as well as that, make sure that you do download the suitable one for your operating system and your processor. My processor is 64-bit, not 30 32 bit so I'm going to choose that one and I'm going to choose the one that's on Windows 10 and once you have downloaded it and um, you can actually click on it extract it all do all the bits you do to open up the file and once you've opened it it should update your network drivers step 3 optimize your Ethernet settings by going back inside of the device manager then under the network adapters again find your recently updated Ethernet connection then right click on it and choose properties then if you click on the power management tab Inside of this section right here, uncheck, allow this device to wake the computer, as well as uncheck, allow the computer to turn off this device. Then head over to advanced, click on the enable PME, and set that to disabled on the value drop down menu. And then under the energy efficient ethernet, set that value to off. And then finally, you wanna scroll down to the very bottom, and you'll see a wake on link setting. Go ahead and disable that. Same with the one below it, and then same with the one below that one too. So you wanna disable all of these three. Step four, change your DNS server, which Epic Games themselves actually recommend for better connectivity and performance. To do this, go onto your start menu, and type in the view network connections select that option right there and then if you right click on the Ethernet section choose properties then locate the IPv4 option right here be sure to tick it by the way if it wasn't already checked after that you want to open its properties then inside of here this is where you can change your DNS or add a custom one and um, in general there's two popular ones the first one is Cloudflare and the second one is Google for Cloudflare the address for that is 1.1.1 1 .1 and 1.0.0.1 and then Google's address is 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8 and then 8.8.4.4. Point However, to find the best DNS server for you and where you live specifically, one method you can do is try out this free and safe application called DNS Benchmark. And what this does is once you actually run it, it'll determine the exact performance of local and remote DNS servers around you, resulting in a clear indication of the best one for you. And as you can see for myself, it actually turns out that the Google DNS server is the best one for me, which I mentioned before is a very popular one. And it's actually again one of the two that Epic Games themselves recommend you use. Another method to find the best DNS server is to open up the command prompt or the CMD then typing in ping, followed by the DNS of your choosing or the one you'd like to test. What this will do is it'll show the results of the performance for this exact one for you. So if you test a few out, just choose the one that gives you the lowest amount of ping. Oh, as well, if you're on console and you want to change your DNS server, which I do recommend, for Xbox in the network settings, if you click on setup wireless network, then the DNS settings, then manual, and then type in a custom DNS of your choosing, that'll get you all set up on Xbox. And then for PlayStation, it's very very similar uh, the steps are pretty much the same and this will allow you to type in a custom DNS of your choosing and be all good to go on that front but after doing all that we can now clear our DNS cache by going over to the desktop searching up the CMD then typing in the following command 
at ipconfig backslash flush dns and once run this will successfully flush the dns resolve cache step six do an adware clean by searching up one that's free online like malware bytes for example once installed you can simply run the scan it's pretty simple i myself i do these scans frequently so no potentially unwanted programs should appear but if they do you want to go ahead and quarantine them because they can slow down your internet significantly step seven set up low ping fortnite settings Inside the game settings, you want to make sure that your local server is either on auto or it's on the one with the lowest ping, which should be clear with the lowest value of ping that appears for your local network. And next, you can actually go into the account and privacy settings too and make sure that all the player surveys are off. And then there's some optional ones like turning off text chat, that could help a little bit as well as turning off your public game stats, but they are optional. Step 8, you can set up some custom Epic Games commands by going onto the desktop, uh, pressing the Windows key plus R, and then typing in percentage sign local, update it, and percentage sign again, like so. Then in here, in the local, you want to find the Epic Games launcher, give that a click, and then if you go on to saved, then go on to config, then windows, and then find the engine.ini file. If you right click on that and open it or slash edit it, you'll see this command right here or set of commands. Go ahead and delete all of that right there and paste in this brand new one right here. I'll actually leave it in the video description so you can just paste it straight in. After that, you can go ahead and click on file then saved and that's our updated engine file. After that, head back onto the desktop and press control, alt and delete. Then go into the task manager uh, also make sure where Epic Games Launcher is actually open. Then click on details, find the Epic Games Launcher.exe, give that a right click and set the priority from normal to be on high, like so. At last, if you want to confirm it, and then click change, and it will actually set it to be high rather than normal, which is fantastic. After that, you want to go into the Epic Games Launcher, click on your little profile icon at the top right. And then if you go onto the settings and scroll down, you should see an option here called Throttle Downloads. Make sure that is actually unchecked. Step nine, you wanna make these changes in your Windows settings. Uh, firstly, change all of these privacy settings to be disabled. You do not wanna use them at all. And then you also wanna make sure that all these background apps are disabled as well, as these can actually hog your bandwidth, which you do not want. Get rid of all of them. And finally, for step number 10, you wanna go back into the Epic Games Launcher, find Fortnite, click on the three dots, Click on options and then under the Fortnite install options, you want to actually tick disable cosmetic streaming as what this will do is it'll actually stream all the cosmetics if you do not disable it and that will help your connection out a ton. So make sure that is definitely ticked if it's not already. Trust me, it's worth the five or six or whatever gigabytes it's actually taken up. It's 100% worth it. But that right there is how you drastically improve your ping in the game. If a video helped out, feel free to drop a like on it, drop a sub on the channel for more videos like this, and be sure to use my code in the item shop to help me out a ton, as well as when you do buy that brand new battle pass. Catch us all in the next one, and feel free to check out any of my other videos on screen right now.